going on guys, it's Gary, and you guys a new video, and this is going to be one of the last things that we're going to be doing for our Twitch accounts, so this is going to be the offline screen. So uh, after this we're going to be doing Twitch uh, panels again, but they're going to be more uh, advanced and more to follow this blue kind of feel to it. And it's actually really easy to do, and you guys will pretty much have no problem with this. It's actually not that many layers, and if you guys want, you guys can go in this, my description right now and download it off Selfie. It's going to be a dollar, and uh, you guys can pretty much get it for free. Not free, but for a dollar. So uh, basically, what you guys are going to need to do is open up a document 1280 by 720. Uh, that's going to be popping up too. And just pretty much find a background. I just have this same old background I've been using. It's someone getting a feed and I just blurred it out made it black and white. Nothing too fancy. And this is going to be pretty much our backbone for this whole entire thing. So the next thing you guys want to do is download the stock pack and then go into it. And there's going to be a blue techie stock all the way at the bottom. And just pretty much drag it into your thing and just place it right in the middle. And what's cool about stocks like these, if you go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur, you guys can blur it enough to where it creates more of like a uh, lens blur stock. And then you guys can just put it like on screen, soft light, um, light in. You guys can pretty much have an infinite amount of things you guys can do. Yeah, it's not really specific on which one to do. I really just keep clicking through all of them and then I find the one I like the most. So, I think I'm just going to put it on overlay and I'll lower the opacity just a bit, probably to like 90. So the next thing you guys want to do is add a exposure and just go to your adjustments and go to your exposure and take the gamma correction and bring it to the right. Offset you guys can leave to the left a little bit and exposure to the right some more. And then you guys can click again in the adjustments, go to solid color, and just make this a nice blue, nothing too bright, nothing too dark, just something nice and then you guys can again mess with color. Linear blur, overlay, soft light, these all work screen. Um, it's pretty much up to you. Soft light usually brings out a nice amount of colors, and then you guys can just lower the opacity a bit. So you can leave it to here. So next you guys want to do is hop back over to the stock pack, and we're gonna be adding all the background effects right now. And if you scroll up, there's like an orange light. Let's kind of take this and just drag it in, and put it below everything, like the exposure and everything. Hit Control U. And then just kind of drag it to the left or the right until you get to a nice blue color. And this is going to be pretty much just like our glares and stuff, our like, I guess you can call it just like our extra effects. And just kind of erase everywhere that's not needed. And then you guys can always just bring it back in or redo it. I'm going to kind of redo it a little bit. And then you guys can just lower the opacity a bit. Alright, so you guys can keep that the same, and then go back into that stock pack, and you guys can pretty much just keep grabbing anything you want. I'm going to be grabbing the green blood sparks, and then just kind of place these in. And same thing you guys want to do, hit Control u to bring up your hue and saturation. Just kind of drag it around, make it a nice blue. And it's decent hit screen and then you guys have this so basically what we did is we made it a lot more brighter a lot more attractive to look at and it's actually pretty much all we're gonna be doing for the background so right now you guys can just hit the first green blood spark hit the back layer and hit control G group this up and label this back so uh, the next thing you guys want to do is pretty much start with your like text or something or whatever you guys else want to do for this text, I'm going to be putting a font called Long Shot, and it's actually a really nice font to use, and let's make the color white. And you can do this and label this like currently offline, or I'm offline, actually I'm just going to put offline. And then highlight it all, and just make it decently big. If you guys haven't seen a offline screen, I'll show you guys one right now. Actually, I think I have one on my account. Oh, there it is. Right here. It's basically the offline screen. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too boring. And basically, this is what it looks like when you get offline. People click on your account. That's what's going to show you. So you guys can put this like straight in the middle, and then add any layer style you guys want onto it. I'm just adding one with like a drop shadow. Nothing too fancy. So you guys can add your own drop shadow if you guys really want to. Pretty much not needed. It's just something else to add. Alright, but what you want to do now is zoom in, grab a white rectangle, and then make that white rectangle the same length as your text. Like that. And then bring it down, add the same layer style into it with a drop shadow. 
started like layering and putting a below and stuff. I'm just gonna take that off. The drop shadow, and then you guys want to start with your bottom text. So this bottom text, do not use the long shot font for. Use something a little more bold, like impact or uh, I don't know how to. I don't want to try to pronounce that one. Just something bold, like mangle, and just type. And you guys can pretty much test it out. Just take the size down to like 30s, and say check out my channel. All right, highlight it all make a white grab this little document right here you guys can make it more bold I'm gonna take that little bold off for a little bit all right I'm gonna take the little bold off for a little bit sorry I had to pause the thing for a second and that talked to my mom but then you guys can make it a little smaller with this V slash a and that's about it pretty much the same thing now you guys can start putting that layer style back onto it and then actually keep it the same size hit control J bring it down and then highlight it all and just do like slash like your url so be your youtube url all right and then you guys can put that there maybe bring it up a little bit and then size it so it's the same size as this text and then zoom in make the spacing not too much is you need like a little spacing and that drop shot is getting really annoying so i'm just gonna take all my layer styles off all right that works so uh you grab this grab these two just shrink them hitting control t sorry i have the blanking out right there just take them shrink them hitting control t and then line them up with that bar hit enter you guys can duplicate this label this let's just say youtube duplicate it and drag it to the right a little bit and you guys can change the text big like, check out my let's just say twitter url instead of youtube would be twitter all right and then you guys it's pretty much the same size it's a little off doesn't really matter too much Label this like Twitter. Oh, I spelled Twitter wrong. Oops. And yeah. So uh, you guys are pretty much do the same thing for all the other techs. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk a little bit. So if you guys knew, I ordered some of my computer parts off of CyberPower PC, and I ordered it January. I want to say eighth. And currently, it's February third and I've still yet to receive it which is really annoying I paid roughly like twenty six hundred dollars for it and I haven't received it so I emailed them like uh, I think I emailed them yesterday and they said that there's a problem with my motherboard and that it got fried and during the testing and that they had to retest it and put a different motherboard in so I gotta wait like another like probably two and a half weeks because it's ridiculous there and it's just it's just absolutely annoying so i'm gonna tell you guys that so i'm still using my laptop i broke the screen more if you guys didn't know already i snapped like a stupid quarter at one of my friends sitting in my chair and it hit my laptop screen and just cracked it and i was just like shit okay, that's annoying so ooh. all right so basically what i just did over there is just i just pretty much Grouped them all together. I'm just kind of making them more clean. Just, I'm literally just grouping. Oh, fuck. Jesus. All right. I keep like leaning towards my mic. If you guys hear me go quiet, I keep looking towards my towards my right, where my laptop screen is. I'm using like, my monitor, but it's not HD. So you guys have to understand what I'm doing. So pretty much just group everything together. Just make it nice and just put them all below everything and the color fills and everything. And just, now you can put your color correction on. Holy shit. I didn't mean to do that. This one by one, I guess. And those don't really need anything. Just put your color corrections on, and you guys can zoom in a little bit. Go under everything except for the background layer, and just grab like a black brush, and just kind of click around and put it on like overlay. And it, it, what it does, it just brings out like more color. 
and then you guys can really just start messing around with stuff i'm gonna take all these control j control e and then put this below everything including those black brush marks go to size hitting control t sorry drag up hitting shift oops and then just kind of place it in the middle and what this is going to do is create another light kind of stock thing and then you're set don't put it too much put it like and that's a little wet it's probably like nine eight and a half nine put on screen there goes my phone put on soft light sorry and then just put it in the center take your eraser click right here click up here click right there and click on the sides pretty much just kind of make it to like a little circle all around it and then you guys will have a nice little glare and then you guys can pretty much add other stuff but this is pretty much the necessary things you guys can like I guess put your Twitch accounts, put your next streaming time, put your little, little chats or something. Something to add more pizzazz to it. And there's always other stocks you guys can add. If you guys go back in here, there's like blue lights. Let me just grab these. You guys can literally add these as well. Let's put these on like screen. And then you guys have these just floating around. Which does kind of look pretty decent. Let me erase a little bit behind the text. And it's pretty much all about blending. You gotta keep blending everything together. And then for the last like tidbits and last kind of help to give you guys when you guys are making these, go always to the top again and grab curves. I don't understand people. People like never make curves and stuff on their work, and it it really does bring out work. So just kind of mess around with curves. Go to brightness and contrast. Even bring the contrast up or down. Usually up. <gasps> Excuse me. Same thing on the hue and saturation. Just kind of add extra like filters and stuff. Look at that. Maybe take a little dark little bit. And then you guys always have the last thing you guys can do. Add another hue and saturation. And you guys can change the colors. See? Look at that. You guys can have any color you want. Which is another reason to buy it. So, basically, you guys are almost done. Last thing you want to do is just group all these extra things together. Label it like don't touch or something. So what I usually do is label stuff like don't touch. Color changer. And then you guys have all of this stuff left. I put this in like the in our folder. Don't touch. And then you guys pretty much have your own little overlay. So you guys pretty much save it as a PNG to your desktop or a folder, and then you guys can just add it to your thing. So basically that's all you guys have to do. It's really easy to do and it's really clean. It didn't take too long, probably like yeah, ten minutes or so, not too long. And it really looks good on your Twitch accounts. Even if you guys are making this for clients, you guys have to know how to make these. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Definitely check out my cell phone in the description to buy this. It's going to be really cheap. And it's going towards me buying a new graphics tablet and help me produce the best work I can for you guys. Um, Definitely follow my Twitch account. It'll be in the description below as well. That's just to like pretty much put me forward when I get my new computer. I'll be streaming almost every day. The new Zombies map is coming out in a month, actually, for Xbox, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys are having a pretty much a decent day and you guys are enjoying the videos. If you guys have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter. I respond to everybody. I know people kind of freak out about it, but yep, I respond. But I uh, hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out.